Choosing a bank account can be incredibly difficult as there are so many options to choose from. When I'm comparing different bank accounts, several factors come into play when deciding which is best, but there's one factor that can be a deal breaker for me, and that factor is fees. With that said, other factors I look at in a good bank account include things like customer service, ATM access, interest rates, and any other standout features they may offer. Also, be mindful that any rates I mention in today's video are accurate as of the time of recording. So make sure to double check the rates if you decide to sign up for a new account. And the banks in today's video are in no particular order. Let's get into it. Now he's a 10, but his high yield savings account only pays out 0.28% APY. I'm talking about the Charles Schwab high yield investor checking. This bank account is hands down the best I've seen. First of all, there's no fees or account minimums required to keep this checking account active. There's also no foreign transaction fees and you're gonna get 0.25% APY on your entire checking account balance. Also, you'll You'll have access to mobile check deposit, which is certainly my preferred method of depositing checks. And alongside their checking account, you must open a Charles Schwab brokerage account, which you actually aren't required to use. Oh, and Charles Schwab used to make a hard pull on your credit when you applied for this type of account, but they got rid of that requirement back in 2020. So for our budget, we use YNAB, which lets you automatically import your transactions into the software so that you can easily track and budget your expenses. However, some banks don't allow the use of third-party software like Plat making it so you have to manually import your transaction data into your budgeting software. However, the Charles Schwab High Yield Investor Checking Account does allow the use of Plaid. And with Charles Schwab, you can do your banking on their website or on their app, which is fairly common, but I do like mentioning this as it's not always the case. And this is especially true with a lot of these new fintech companies. A lot of the times they'll just have a mobile app. Charles Schwab also offers unlimited free checkbooks with your account. And a little side tangent for you. For the first time in my life, at the age of 35, I successfully got through an entire checkbook and I was in the position where I had to actually go and order new checks. My wife and I were using PNC Bank, so naturally I went on their website to order checks, and I was astonished at what they were charging. $25 for a book of 80 checks, and $17 for shipping. You've got to be out of your mind. And that's when I discovered that you can order checks from Costco at a fraction of the price. Needless to say, having free checks can be nice because as long as boomers run the earth, you may find yourself needing a check here and there. Charles Schwab is also known for their impeccable customer service, where you'll actually get a human being on the phone rather than an endless slew of automated phone prompts. Please send a photo of fresh garlic bread and then press pound in order to verify your account. Plus, Charles Schwab is integrated with Zelle, so you'll be able to easily send and receive money. But the best, and I reiterate, the absolute best part of the Charles Schwab High Yield Investor Checking Account is that they offer unlimited ATM fee rebates worldwide. This is an absolute beast of a perk, especially if you travel internationally. And you can also lock and unlock your debit card right in the Charles Schwab app to help make sure your money is secure. And while we're on the topic of making sure your money is secure, Charles Schwab also has two-factor authentication, which is one of the best ways to keep your account secure. Now, for their two-factor authentication, they use an app called Semantic VIP, which is similar to Google Authenticator. But with that said, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. This bank account isn't really a one-and-done type deal because of a few reasons. One, it's an online bank, so you won't be able to deposit cash. Now, for someone like me who rarely deals with cash, not a big deal. But if you're a bartender, a waiter, or you're in another line of work that deals with a lot of cash, this may be a deal breaker for you. And two, if you pull your money from an external bank, there's a four day holding period before you get access to your funds. So in order to get your funds faster, it's important to push your funds into your Charles Schwab checking from your external bank, which in this case only takes about one business day to clear. And three, Charles Schwab does have an associated high yield savings account, but it's only 0.03% higher than the checking. So I really can't recommend holding your excess funds or your emergency fund here. It's simply not competitive with other banks, so I'd opt for one of the other banks in today's list in order to hold your savings. The second bank I want to talk about is Capital One, specifically the Capital One 360 checking and savings accounts. If you wanted to take advantage of the Charles Schwab account for its unbeatable ATM access and free checks, the Capital One 360 checking and savings would be an excellent choice to pair with it. And Capital One 360 does have Zelle integration, so you'll be able to easily send and receive money. The fantastic thing about the Capital One 360 checking account is that even if you don't have a Capital One branch near you, you can deposit cash at any CVS location. In order to do this, you simply open up your Capital One mobile app, enter the amount of cash you'd like to deposit, hand your cash to the CVS cashier, and have them scan your barcode. And voila! 
you'll get an instant in-app notification that your cash has been deposited. But Capital One actually has brick and mortar locations as well, some of which are traditional bank locations and some of which are Capital One cafes. It's certainly an interesting concept for a bank to open up a cafe bank hybrid. But if you are a Capital One member, you'll get 50% off all the handcrafted beverages that they offer. Having the ability to visit a traditional brick and mortar bank can be nice, especially if you need a document notarized or if you're interested in renting a safe deposit box. The other thing I really appreciate about the Capital One 360 checking is there's no monthly maintenance fees associated with the account. So there's no need to maintain a minimum balance or have a direct deposit into it. And this account also has mobile check deposit plus the ability to lock and unlock your debit card from the app. And Capital One gives you access to the Money Pass and All Point ATM networks plus the Capital One ATMs of course. All in all, you'll get access to over 70,000 fee-free ATMs, which isn't quite as high as Charles Schwab, but it's certainly more than most other banks. Capital One also touts the fact that their 360 checking account will allow you to access your direct deposit up to two days early. And there's also some no fee overdraft options with your checking account. Now by default, Capital One's gonna decline transactions that cause overdrafts, but you can also choose to automatically cover overdrafts with funds in your savings. And the third option is to enable no fee overdraft, which Capital One will temporarily foot the bill, but they do require you to promptly deposit funds in order to cover the overdraft. And Capital One offers SMS authentication along with in-app verification in order to help keep your account secure. However, they currently have no support for external two-factor authentication through services like Google Authenticator. Another thing I want to mention is that having a relationship with a bank in the form of a checking or savings account can sometimes, emphasis on sometimes, increase your odds of getting accepted for one of their credit cards. So this can be something to consider if you happen to be eyeing up that VentureX like I am. But the thing that can make Capital One a one-stop shop is the Capital One 360 Performance Savings Account. It currently has a fairly competitive rate, providing 1.75% APY on any cash you have saved within it. And this account also has mobile check deposit just like their checking account, and there's no minimum to keep your account open. Capital One also lets you open multiple savings accounts so you can set aside money for different goals. This can certainly be beneficial, especially if you take advantage of their automatic transfer feature where you can set aside a certain amount of money on a recurring basis. While I do love what Capital One is offering with these accounts, there are a couple things that would make them even better. They charge for checks. And while their checks aren't as expensive as other banks I've seen, Charles Schwab is definitely the gold standard here. And ATM access with Capital One is certainly good, but of course Charles Schwab will be much more versatile as pretty much every ATM on the planet will be effectively free of charge. And the 1.75% APY on the Capital One 360 savings account is good, but there are banks that are offering over 2% at the time of recording this video. All in all though, as an entire package, Capital One is a great option for someone who wants everything under the same roof. And if you're getting any value out of today's video, simply clicking that like button would help out the channel in a big way. Next, I have to mention Discover. Discover comes in hot with excellent customer service, plus their debit card earns 1% cash back. But if you use your debit card for all your purchases, I don't know that we can really have a long-term friendship. I'm just joshing you. Of course we can be friends. But when we go out to eat, I'll put dinner on my credit card so I can get the credit card rewards that you don't want, and you just pay me back. All right, so Discover's checking account doesn't pay interest on your balance like some of the other banks in today's video do. However, it's not really a big deal, at least in my opinion, because the amount the other accounts pay out is in the ballpark of 0.25% APY. So the Discover checking account has no fees, period. There's no minimum balances, no required direct deposit, nothing like that. But if you do set up your direct deposit with Discover checking, you'll get your paycheck up to two days early, just like with the Capital One 360 checking we just talked about. As far as ATM access, Discover uses the AllPoint and MoneyPass ATM networks, which gives you fee-free access to over 60,000 ATMs. Now, not as good as Schwab, but you shouldn't have that hard of a time trying to find an ATM. Discover also has Zelle integration, which makes it simple to send and receive money. You'll also have mobile check deposit through the Discover app, which is really becoming a standard feature today. And honestly, I think it would be a deal breaker for me if a bank didn't offer mobile check deposit. And as a bit of a side note, I like that Discover gives you access to your FICO 8 score as opposed to your Vantage score like Credit Karma and other services give you. It's just a bit more practical as lenders tend to use FICO more than Vantage score. Plus, this little side tangent was a decent way for me to show off my absolute beast of a credit score.
But Discover also provides no fee official bank checks, no fee check reorder, and no fee for insufficient funds. All really great features that make this account a no-brainer. So at the time of recording this video, they're actually not accepting new applications, but it looks like they're gonna be rolling out some new features that they'll give us more information about on September 1st. The sentence that really caught my eye is to stay tuned for the ability to add cash to your account at a major national retailer. Hmm. So I wonder who they're partnering with to offer this service. It's probably a drugstore, perhaps Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, maybe Target. If you have any inside information, do me a huge favor and drop a comment down below. Discover adding this cash deposit feature would make them a lot more competitive with the Capital One 360 checking account. Plus, it lessens the need to have an account with a brick and mortar bank. As far as security, Discover offers account verification through SMS, phone call, or email. So there's no software token support, meaning you won't be able to use external authenticators like Google Authenticator. Discover also has a really competitive savings account, making it a great one-stop shop, assuming they add the cash deposit feature. Discover is currently offering 1.7% APY on their savings account, which has no monthly fee and no minimum balance requirements. While it's certainly not the maximum you can squeeze out of a high yield savings account, if you prefer to have everything under the same roof, this could be a great addition to Discover's checking account. And if you do a little searching, you should be able to find that Discover also offers a bonus to their first-time savings customers, which can get you either $150 or $200 in cash back. But before we talk about a bank that's offering 3.5% APY, let's talk about SoFi. SoFi has a plethora of different products, but we'll simply talk about their checking and savings accounts and maybe a bit about their credit card for the purposes of this video. While SoFi doesn't have quite the track record as some of the other banks in today's video, it does check a lot of boxes for its customer base. Let's start with their combined checking and savings account. First of all, I absolutely love the idea of having the checking and savings account combined. We typically leave a buffer of around $4,000 in our checking account, which at other banks wouldn't really be earning any interest. SoFi solves this issue by allowing customers to earn high yield savings account interest rates on their entire bank account balance. However, if you prefer having your savings account out of sight in a completely different bank account, this may not be the best option for you. And SoFi's checking and savings account has no minimum balance fees, no overdraft fees, and no monthly fees. Plus, you'll get access to the AllPoint ATM network, which gives you access to over 55,000 fee-free ATMs. However, SoFi doesn't reimburse any ATM fees from out-of-network ATMs, so if you find yourself withdrawing from ATMs frequently, you may want to take a look at some of the other bank accounts in today's video. But with SoFi, you'll be able to do your banking both on desktop and through the SoFi app, which also has mobile check deposit. As far as SoFi's no fee overdraft coverage, they'll cover up to $50 in overdrafts as long as you have a qualifying direct deposit set up. This account also gives you the ability to create vaults, which are essentially just different little buckets you can use in order to allocate money for different savings goals. Now this is similar to the bucket feature that Ally really made popular. It's a really great way to keep track of your savings goals while keeping all of your money within the same account. Now SoFi also has a roundups feature that will round up your SoFi debit card purchases to the nearest dollar and then place that roundup in your chosen vault. Now, I'm glad this feature is available, but I do typically urge people to take advantage of using a credit card rather than a debit card for not only elevated rewards, but also for the additional protections they have. But a standout feature that sets SoFi apart from its competitors is SoFi Relay. SoFi Relay is a tool where you can set budgets track spending, and link your external accounts to it with Plaid. Relay also tracks your bills to help make sure you don't miss any due dates. And SoFi has partnered with TransUnion in order to provide Relay users with their Vantage Score 3.0 right inside the app. While Vantage Score isn't as widely used as FICO, it's still nice having the ability to keep track of your credit. As far as the SoFi credit card, it's a 2% cashback credit card with a few additional perks. It has no annual fee, no foreign transaction fees, and $1,000 worth of cell phone protection. Now, at the time of recording this video, SoFi is running a promo where if you open a checking and savings account, 
plus the credit card, you'll get an additional 1% cash back on the credit card, plus up to $300 back. However, to get these additional perks, you will need to set up direct deposits into your SoFi checking and savings. Now, the 1% additional signup bonus for the credit card sounds cool, but it really isn't groundbreaking. However, the fact that this card has no foreign transaction fees is excellent. Since you can get the $300 signup bonus for simply opening the checking and savings account with direct deposit, the signup bonus for the credit card is simply the additional 1% back for 365 days. So in order to earn $200 with that additional 1% bonus, you'd have to spend $20,000 with this card within that 365 day period. And I mentioned a $200 signup bonus because that's currently what the city double cash is offering. And as far as the customer service, it's hit or miss you'll likely have a better experience with the other banks in today's video. I'm seeing mixed reviews regarding SoFi's customer service, so just keep this in mind when deciding which bank to go with. And SoFi's account verification methods include SMS, phone call, or email. They don't have support for software tokens, meaning you can't use external authentication software. But overall, SoFi is offering a really solid array of products that you really can't go wrong with. Plus, I love the fact that they're offering a signup bonus, they have a built-in budgeting tool, and you earn a 2% APY on your checking and savings. Next up, we have the Affinity Federal Credit Union, which despite being your credit union, almost everyone is eligible to join. And big shout out to OW and Ryan Siebers for bringing the Affinity Credit Union to my attention. So I really love three things about this credit union. They have a savings account that's great for a small emergency fund. They have an absolutely free cashback debit checking account. And for my credit card fam, they have a truly remarkable credit card. And while this particular credit union has brick and mortar access all over the country through the credit union co-op, if there's no locations close to you, I do urge you to check out your local credit unions. The great thing about credit unions is that they're member-owned nonprofit organizations, so in a lot of cases, they can offer better, cheaper services than for-profit banks. And with this said, Affinity does require you to hold at least $5 with the credit union, as this gives you a share in the credit union. Because like I just mentioned, credit unions are member-owned, so this is essentially your little stake in the organization. But let's take a step back and talk about Affinity's checking account. They actually have two checking account products, but I'll be talking about the Affinity Cashback Debit. With this account, you'll get a debit card that earns 1% back, which could potentially be useful in situations where there's credit card processing fees. This account also touts no minimum deposit, no minimum balance, and no monthly account fees as long as you opt in for e-statements. Affinity also offers online bill pay and mobile deposit, but their ATM access is a bit more limited when compared to the other banks in today's video. Affinity is fully compatible with Zelle, so you can easily transfer money to and from external accounts. And if you opt for direct deposit with Affinity, you'll get your paycheck up to two days sooner, just like we've seen with a few other banks on today's list. And Affinity is based out of New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut. But they're also part of the co-op shared branch network. This shared branch network allows credit union members to visit any of the 5,600 plus locations across the country in order to conduct transactions just like they do at Affinity's own locations. So while their ATM access is a bit on the light side when compared to other banks in today's video, if one of these shared locations is near your home, Affinity could be a great option for you. And let's talk about their savings account. Affinity's Smart Start Savings Account gets you a whopping 3.5% APY on up to $5,000 in savings. You'll get 1% APY on everything greater than $5,000. So while the maximum limit for the 3.5% is a bit low, I would personally keep $5,000 in the account in order to take full advantage of it and then put the rest of my savings elsewhere. So this means you can earn about $175 per year with only $5,000 in savings. Plus, there's no minimum balance and no fees as long as you opt for e-statement. Oh, and Affinity has a loyalty program called More and Evermore, where you can unlock additional perks when you use Affinity for more of your banking needs. Some of these features include no fees for money orders and cashier's checks, free overdraft protection transfers, discounted safe deposit boxes, and free checks. And as far as security, Affinity does have two-factor authentication available, which helps keep your account secure. I do wanna cover one of the really standout features of the Affinity Credit Union, and that's the ability to get their cash rewards Visa Signature Credit Card. The key points that make their Cash Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card so attractive are that it gets you 5% back on Amazon and bookstores, 5% back in rotating categories, and 2% back in a variety of useful categories. These 2% categories include supermarkets, restaurants, 
gas stations, and certain watch, listen, and ride services like Netflix, Spotify, and Uber. The incredible thing is if the rotating 5% bonus categories overlap with the 2% categories, they stack, meaning you'll get 7% back. On top of all this, this card gets you $200 in cash back if you spend $3,000 in the first 90 days. Plus, in addition to this $200 sign-up bonus, you'll get 25,000 bonus points worth $250 at the one cent per point valuation if you spend at least $25,000 on purchases in the first 12 months. But honestly, if you're looking for a safe place to hold your excess savings, you should really look into iBonds through treasurydirect.gov. You have until the end of October 2022 in order to lock in the 9.62% APY for the first six months. And I do have an entire video on them here if you'd like to learn more. And if you'd like to help out the channel, click that like button. Peace.